Our special segment, quarter say quarter tak. Mangalam is focusing on the FMCG sector. Mangalam, what is it that we can expect this quarter around? Big FMCG numbers this week. We have HUL, Asian Paints, ITC, Nestle, as well as Tata Consumer, all of them reporting numbers over the next few days itself. But, you know, for the second quarter, it's an insipid quarter that the street is working with for FMCG companies. Why is that? Because of the twin problems. One, weak demand conditions. And secondly, all the companies are sitting on high cost inventory. So those are a bunch of things that everyone's working with. And in terms of the management commentary that we've got through the quarter as well, you know, weakness in entry level products is something that the street has to navigate through and uh, uh, you know at the same time while everyone is looking at this quarter as a bridge quarter between the first quarter of this year and the second half of this year the second half is important because that is where you're expecting demand as well as margin recovery so to that extent this quarter may not be as important from a long-term investor standpoint but despite that we have some interesting trends playing out titan for instance uh, you know announced a 18 percent jewelry growth on a high base so that's telling you that the premium end is doing extremely well but it's the staples where there is a problem. GCPL, mid-single-digit sales growth with mid-teen decline in EBITDA. You had the same problem with Marico as well. Consolidated revenue growing in just low single digits with no change in the EBITDA. And Dabur as well is showing mid-single-digit sort of growth with a decline of 150 to 200 basis points on the EBITDA. And this distinction is clear in uh, regards with value, uh, in volume, expansion, uh, volume uh, growth expectation as well. For HUL in Britannia, the volumes are expected to grow mid single Single digits uh, slightly below that as well, between three to five, four to five odd percent. Whereas uh, for uh, you know bigger players, discretionary consumption, Asian Paints is expected a 14 to 16 percent sort of growth coming in on their business, and ITC cigarette volumes likely to grow by around 14 to 15 odd percent. And you know it is this expectation in the second half which is baked into the price as well, because all these stocks are just around five to six percent away from their 52 week high. The FMCG sector has been an outperformer over the last 12 months. It's just started consumer and Asian paints, which have been about 10% away from their 52-week high. Valuations for FMCG stocks have never been cheap, and we continue to see them at elevated levels for most of the stocks between 37 to 61 times for Nestle. ITC has always had valuation support, currently trading at 21 times, despite the kind of rally that we've seen on the stock.